So in terms of commitment, masculine energy men do not move toward that which does not feel good. So this is really important to understand because if we're desiring commitment from a man that is more masculine in his energy, and what I always teach you is that masculine energy, just like feminine energy, is a balance of both energies and it's an integration of both energies in in an, in, in an individual. So a man that is more masculine in his nature is also going to you know, have components of femininity within him, not femininity per se, but feminine energy. He's going to be balanced in both. And feminine energy is, you know, there's a, a component of feminine energy is intuition, right? And so masculine men are going to move toward commitment with women that make them feel good and with women that are also balanced. So if we're desiring commitment from a man and we are, um, you know, trying to get him to commit and, you know, we're doing all these strategies and things like that to get men to commit to us, uh, generally we're doing that because we don't feel good about who we are as women. So if we're not feeling good about who we are as women and we don't value ourselves, the reflection, you know, in life and in reality is going to be the same. It's going to be how we, it's going to be what we believe about ourselves. And we're going to have to effort and try to make things happen in every aspect of our life, especially with men. And that will work with men that are not masculine, right? So a lot of dating coaches talk about all these strategies. You know, I invite you to look at their partner. Uh, you guys can follow me on Instagram. Like I post about my life on there at Freen Ash Official. Um, you know, in my private membership, you know, I answer personal questions and I essentially share my life on there because it's really important to understand that you know, a lot of dating coaches that are doing this work are, are not actually feminine in their nature. And you can see this in their partner. So uh, masculine energy is a presence and it's an energy and it's felt. And so a lot of the coaches and a lot of people that teach this sort of work are teaching it from how to land a man. And those strategies absolutely work. Um, they absolutely work, but they will not work with balanced, healthy, masculine men because balanced, healthy, masculine men also have the component of femininity and feminine energy within them, which is intuition and they can feel it and they will move away from women that are very strategic in terms of um, trying to win them over. And a lot of those coaches that teach those strategies, if you observe their partner, observe, right? Um, because feminine and femininity and masculinity is an energy. It is not, it cannot be taught in um, an intellectual way, right? So I'm a lawyer, I went to law school, you know, um, I, I, I have a lot of schooling and a lot of education. I could not teach these principles to you in the way that I you know, in the way that I studied law, <laughs> in, you know, in, you know, in preparing for a court case, like it doesn't work that way with these energies. It cannot be taught that way. It is taught through embodiment. And, and that is a feeling that is a feeling that you feel in a feminine energy woman and in a masculine energy man. And so a lot of these strategies to win a man over, you know, a lot of the coaches that teach that their, their partners are feminine in their nature. And you can see that you can see that in their face, you can feel that in their presence. And so if we're trying to move toward commitment with a masculine man, it's really important to do the inner work. Because when you do the inner work, and I focus a lot on this in my one on one coaching and in the private group, in, in terms of giving you guys awareness, I do a lot of hot seat coaching in there. But when you come from a space of feeling good about who you are as a feminine woman, you by default are going to feel good to be around. And when you feel good to be around, a masculine man is going to pursue that. So masculine men move towards what feels good to them. They will move toward commitment with a woman that feels good to be around. Just like a feminine woman is going to be around a man that makes her feel good, not uh, a man that is trying to use strategies or um, do things to try to get her into bed, right? So men, so a feminine woman will be will can also sense because femininity is intuition, right? Feminine woman can sense when a man is trying to uh, lure her into bed, right? In the same way, masculine men can sense when a woman is trying to lure him into commitment. So both energies can can sense inauthenticity 
And that is really important to keep in mind. So if we're trying to move it toward commitment with a man or we want a man to do something for us, and I've encountered this a lot in my situations with clients and, uh, you know, in the group and things like that. If we are trying to get a man to do something for us at whatever stage and, you know, feel free to leave comments and things like that about like what stage you're in and what you know what videos you'd like me to create and you can definitely join the private group because in the private group I answer you know I answer specific questions and things like that but generally if we are trying to get a man to, to move into any stage into commitment with us or to do anything for us if we are coming from a space of discontent and we're unhappy and we're dissatisfied it's not gonna make him move toward doing that thing for us it's gonna make him it's going to make him pull away. He's not going to want to do those things for us, right? So even if a man is, you know, programmed to make us happy, if he's a man that is more masculine in his energy, he's not going to, if his efforts, if he feels his efforts are consistently met with disdain and there's a general feeling of unhappiness, so no matter what he does to please this woman, the woman is just never satisfied and never happy, what he's going to do is he's going to pull away. So men, masculine men, again, I say masculine because men that are more feminine in their energy, because they don't have, they lack self-esteem, they lack strength, they lack masculinity, they lack these, um, core traits of masculinity within they will they will move things forward with a woman that doesn't make them feel good and women that don't make men feel good are women that emasculate men right so if a woman is not making a man feel good and is trying to get a man to do something that type of woman you know she's bossy right and bossy women are in their toxic masculine energy they will attract men that are more in their feminine energy, right? And those men lack confidence, lack self-assuredness, lack strength, lack dignity, <laughs> lack purpose, lack vision, lack these things. And they need that direction from a woman because they lack this direction within themselves. And this direction is a masculine component. It is structure. So if a man doesn't have these core strengths of masculinity within himself and you know we lack that in our society he will move towards women that are more um ma masculine and, and i don't mean healthy masculine i mean toxic masculine in 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 her energy because he's craving that sort of direction because he doesn't know how to get that within himself so you know at its very nature women that also do not feel good about themselves and you know and they lack this within themselves are going to try to get 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 this sort of commitment and get this sort of validation from a man that is more masculine it's the same thing because women that are feminine in their core function in the same way that men in their masculine function and i can get i get into this more on what men want and secrets of the feminine woman revealed um so you know definitely check that out if if you want to learn more about that but they fun masculine women and feminine women are mirrors of each other and they function in the same way so just like a feminine woman is not going to sleep with a man or not going to move toward commitment with a man either if the man doesn't feel good or if the man pressures her a masculine man is also not going to do that so some of the ways that we sort of do this um is you know we'll be upset and again it, it is specific to the stage of the relationship you're in. But, you know, if we're trying to get a man, if a man is not moving fast enough for us in terms of commitment, you know, we'll get upset about that and we'll communicate that and not in a feminine high value way, but we'll be communicating that from a place of discontent. And if that is happening early on, so early on is if that's happening early on, like, you know, before he's even asked you to be his girlfriend, if you're asking him to call you more or see you more and things like that, rather than it making him move towards you, it's going to make him move further away from you because masculine energy and feminine energy move towards that which feels good. Okay, my loves, so this is a short video today. I want to keep it simple. I've been super, you know, busy with my one-on-one -on -one clients and the membership. You know, there's already like a few classes in there, live Q&As. The women in there are amazing. I've created this 
membership so that you know women can really be around feminine energy and feminine embodiment and I get into my own personal life in there you know we have a live Q&A this Wednesday and we have a live zoom call with all the girls on Saturday so it's super affordable price right now and the books are going to be up both what men want and secrets of the feminine woman are in the membership right now and i'm going to be taking that down this week so you know definitely get in the group um and also get into the free group if um if you prefer that and i will see you soon love you